Right, so what I'm going to do to solve this uh, pop object, the uh, pop steer uh, problem is to just change the geometry. I'm going to use the curb geometry since it's nice and clean. I don't know if maybe the, uh, you know, the buildings, there could be some holes in them or something like that. I'm not sure. So if we come back into the city, I'm just going to hide other objects for now. And then what I'm going to do, so I'm going to use, as I said, these curves, okay. But obviously I want, I don't want them to avoid the curves. It'd be nice if a few of them just kind of hopped up on the curb every now and again or something. So uh, what we need to do is make them a bit smaller. But what I need to do is make each one smaller to its own center. So to do that, if I drop an assemble and give them all just a name. Okay, that will give me a name attribute on each one. And then... If I use a for each named primitive, then that will cycle through each one. I can check it with this single pass. See, it goes through each one. And then use a, <clears throat> a transform to, well, first of all, I'm going to make them taller as well, just to make sure the agent can actually see it. Okay, so scale it in Y nice and big. 50 is fine. Or, well, it doesn't matter really, but that's big enough. And then uh, we need to, well, I want to scale it a little bit in the Z and X axis as well. Um, but for that, we'll have to change the pivots because the pivot is going to change on, you know, for each object. So uh, that same expression again, dollar C E X, dollar C Y, and dollar C E Z. Give us the centroid. There, well, you can't see it for some reason. There we go. And then I'm just going to scale this down a little bit if we view the blocks. Okay, and then if we go to spacebar and three, no, two, then we should see, you know, the, the kind of scale that we're going for. <clears throat> so I think just uh, 0.1 in each direction will be fine. Yeah, um, and then if I go here, turn off single pass, get an idea it's not perfect but it'll be good enough for our um, purposes okay so that will be what the agents are avoiding it's nice clean geometry and hopefully that will get give us a um, a better result and we, we'll use this whole setup again in the next um with a fracture project there okay so i'll jump in here and that's all good to go let's well we'll come out go into full screen Get rid of that gizmo thing and run another flipbook. Right, the flipbook is done now. So, you know, that does seem to have uh, solved our problems. You can see agents at the beginning shooting down there and then a few going down here. Can't see, there probably are one or two still going into buildings, but I can't see them. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. Um, you know, you can always go ahead and just look around and delete them. Uh, by bounding, you know, you could use the buildings uh, to group them. Um, it's cool. You can see the agents, you know, towards the end of the sim getting sucked in and flying up into the tornado, which is pretty cool. You see them flying off in the background. Um, so, yeah, that's great.